Grammar 4, Chapter 14, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the fundamentals of gerunds, use gerunds as the objects of prepositions, identify common verbs that are followed by gerunds, demonstrate the ability to construct go plus gerund, and recognize special expressions followed by ing. Introduction. Let's understand what a gerund is first. A gerund is the ing form of the verb. Gerunds are verbs that are used as nouns. In other words, by adding ing to any verb, you can change the verb into a noun. Gerunds are often used at the beginning of sentences when focusing on an activity as the subject of conversation. Examples. Playing football is good for your health and good fun. Listening 20 minutes a day to English will help improve your understanding of the language. It's also possible to use gerunds in any other position in a sentence as a direct object of a verb. Examples. Ahmed enjoys listening to recitations of the Quran. Talal admits spending too much money on cars. Prepositions plus gerunds. What do I mean by that? Well, gerunds are also objects of prepositions. This means that whenever a verb follows a preposition, use the gerund or ing form of the verb. Using gerunds as the objects of prepositions. A gerund is frequently used as the object of a preposition. Examples. We talked about going to Dubai for our vacation. Ahmed is in charge of organizing the meeting. I'm interested in learning more about your work. To is a preposition, not part of the infinitive form. So, a gerund follows. Let's pay attention to to, which is a preposition. Examples. I'm used to sleeping with the air conditioner on. I'm accustomed to sleeping with the air conditioner on. I look forward to going home next year. They object to changing their schedule at this late date. The negative form. Please note that not goes before a gerund. Example. We talked about not going to the game, but finally decided we should go. Grammar 4, Chapter 14. Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 1. Common verbs followed by gerunds. Gerunds are used as the object of certain verbs. For example, I enjoy playing soccer. In the example above, enjoy is followed by a gerund, playing. Enjoy is not followed by an infinitive. Incorrect, I enjoy to play soccer. This is wrong. You would not use this in any normal example. Some phrasal verbs like give up are followed by gerunds. For example, Hassan quit smoking. Hassan gave up smoking. A and B have the same meaning. The phrasal verb quit and gave up is usually followed by a gerund, which is the ing form of a verb. Now, let's take a look at verb plus gerund. Enjoy, quit, give up, avoid, consider, appreciate, finish or get through, postpone or put off, discuss, mind, stop, delay and mention, keep, keep on, suggest. Now let's take a look at go plus gerund. Go is followed by a gerund in certain idiomatic expressions to express, for the most part, recreational activities. For example, did you go shopping? We went fishing yesterday. Let's look at good examples of go plus gerund. I'll start in the left comp column. Go bird watching. Go boating. Go bowling. Go camping. Go kayaking. Go dancing. Go fishing. Go hiking. Go hunting. Go jogging. Go mountain climbing. Go running. Go sailing. Go shopping. Go sightseeing. Go skating, 
Go skateboarding. Go skiing. Go sledding. Go snorkeling. Go swimming. Go window shopping. Here are some special expressions followed by ing. ing forms follow certain special expressions. Have fun or a good time plus ing. Have trouble plus ing or have difficulty plus ing. Have a hard time, difficult time plus ing. For example, we had fun. We had a good time. I had trouble. I had difficulty. I had a hard time. I had a difficult time. Spend plus expression of time or money is usually followed plus an ing. Waste plus expression of time or money plus ing. For example, Sam spends most of his time studying. I waste a lot of time watching TV. Grammar 4, Chapter 14, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 1. Now, let's continue looking at special expressions followed by ing. In this case, we have find plus a pronoun plus ing. Let's take a look. We also have catch plus a pronoun plus ing. Examples. When I walked into my office, I found Ahmed using my telephone. When I walked into my office, I caught a thief looking through my desk drawers. In H and I, both find and catch mean discover. Catch often expresses anger or displeasure. Let's continue looking at special expressions followed by ing. We have sit plus expression of time or money plus ing. We have stand plus expression of place plus ing. And we have lie plus expression of place plus ing. He sat at his desk writing a letter. I stood there wondering what to do next. He is lying in bed reading a novel. Grammar 4 Chapter 14, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 1, The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to recognize common verbs followed by infinitives, identify common verbs followed by either infinitives or gerunds, and construct it plus infinitives. Let's take a look at common verbs followed by infinitives. We have agree. They agreed to give him a try. Care. He doesn't care to answer. Decide. She decided not to go to the party. Expect. He expected to be home sooner. Fail. They failed to follow the instructions. Get. It's not fair that she gets to see him before the others. Happen. I happened to pass by, so we had a chat. Intend. She didn't intend to hurt you. Know how. He knows how to run a business. Learn. He learned to speak Spanish very quickly. Manage. We managed to finish everything on time. Offer. He offered to go for a walk. Plan. You plan to meet us here. Refuse. I refuse to cooperate. Seem. It seems to be broken. Tend. These plans tend to grow slowly. Undertake. She undertook to design the new collection. Wait. The runners were waiting to start. Yearn. She yearns to go free. Let's take a look at e some more common verbs followed by either infinitives or gerunds. For example, can't bear. He can't bear being alone. This is gerund. For infinitive, we have he can't bear to be alone. Now, the column on the left will show gerunds. The column on the right will show infinitives. I'll now read the rest for you. Can't stand. Abdullah can't stand working the late shift. For infinitive, Abdullah can't stand to work the late shift. Continue. For gerunds, he continued talking. For infinitive, it would be he continued to talk. Hate. For gerund, he hates cleaning dishes. For infinitive, he hates to clean dishes. Like. Tark likes reading. For infinitive, Tark likes to read. Love. For Jaren, we love scuba diving. For infinitive, we love to scuba dive. Neglect. For Jaren, we have he neglected doing his daily chores. For infinitive, we have he neglected to do his daily chores. Prefer. For Jaren, we have he prefers eating at 7 p.m. For infinitive, we have 
He prefers to eat at 7 p.m. Propose. For Jaren, we have Nasser proposed paying for the trip. For infinitive, we have Nasser proposed to pay for the trip. Using a Jaren suggests that you are referring to real activities or experiences. Using an infinitive suggests that you are talking about potential or possible activities or experiences. Grammar 4, Chapter 14, Jaren's and Infinitives, Part 1. It plus infinitive. Jaren's and infinitives as subjects. Often, an infinitive phrase is used with it as the subject of the sentence. The word it refers to and has the same meaning as the infinitive phrase at the end of the sentence. For example, it is difficult to learn a second language. In this example, it equals to learn a second language. A gerund phrase is frequently used as the subject of a sentence, as in the example below. For example, learning a second language is difficult. An infinitive can also be used as the subject of a sentence, as in the examples below. But far more commonly, an infinitive phrase is used with it as an example A on the previous page. It is difficult to learn a second language. Now, let's look at example C. To learn a second language is difficult. The phrase for someone may be used to specify exactly who the speaker is talking about as in the examples below. For example, it is easy for young children to learn a second language. Learning a second language is easy for young children. To learn a second language is easy for young children. Grammar 4, Chapter 15, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 2. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to use gerunds or passive infinitives following need. Recognize verbs of perception. Identify the simple form after let and help. And recognize causative verbs such as make, have, and get. Usually an infinitive follows needs. For example, I need to borrow some money. Ahmed needs to be told the truth. In certain circumstances, a gerund may follow a need. In this case, the gerund carries a passive meaning. Usually the situation involves fixing or improving something. For example, the house needs painting. The house needs to be painted. Continuing on with using verbs of perception. Certain verbs of perception are followed by either the simple form or ing form of a verb. There is often little difference in the meaning between the two forms, except that the ing form usually gives the idea of while. For example, I saw my brother run down the hallway. I saw my brother running down the hallway. I heard the birds chirp on the roof. I heard the birds chirping on the roof. Sometimes, not always, there is a clear difference between using the simple form or the ing form. The use of the ing form gives the idea that an activity is already in progress when it is perceived. Let's take a look at a few examples. For example, when I walked into the house, I heard my friend cleaning in the kitchen. I heard a famous imam speak at the mosque last Friday. Using the simple form after let and help. Let is followed by the simple form of a verb, not an infinitive. For example, my father lets me drive his car. I let my friend borrow my bicycle. Let's go to a movie. Incorrect. My father lets me to drive his car. Help is often followed by the simple form of a verb. For example, my brother helped me wash my car. Using an infinitive after help is also possible. For example, my brother helped me to wash my car. Grammar 4, Chapter 15, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 2. Using causative verbs, make, have, and get. Make, have, and get can be used to express that the idea X causes Y to do something. When they are used as causative verbs, their meanings are similar, but not identical. For example, I made my cousin carry my bag. X makes Y do something. This is the simple form. 
I had my cousin carry my bag. X has Y do something. Both of these are example of the simple form. I got my cousin to carry my bag. X gets Y to do something. This is the infinitive. The causative make verb is followed by the simple form of a verb, not an infinitive. So the incorrect would be, he made him to clean his room. Make gives the idea that X forces Y to do something. For example, Mr. Abdullah made his son clean his room. Action movies makes me excited. The causative have is followed by the simple form of a verb, not an infinitive. So the incorrect, I had him to repair the leak. Have gives the idea that X requests Y to do something. For example, I had the plumber repair the leak. Talal had the waiter bring him some tea. Causative get is followed by an infinitive. Get gives the idea that X persuades Y to do something. For example, the students got the teacher to dismiss class early. Saeed got his friends to play soccer with him after school. The past participle is used after have and get to give a passive meaning. In this case, there is usually little or no difference in meaning between have and get. For example, I had my car repaired by someone. I got my car repaired by someone. There is little or no difference in meaning between both of these examples. Chapter 15, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 2, C. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the infinitive purpose of in order to. Use adjectives followed by infinitives. Identify infinitives with to and enough. And recognize passive infinitives and gerunds. In order to is used to express purpose. It answers the question why. In order is often admitted as in example B. Let's look at examples. Example A. He came here in order to study grammar. B. He came here to study grammar. To express purpose, use in order to, not for with a verb. Now, let's look at some incorrect examples. He came here for studying grammar. He came here for to study grammar. He came here for study grammar. All of these examples are incorrect. For can be used to express purpose and can be followed by a noun object, as in example F. For example, I went to the store for some rice. I went to the store to buy some rice. Now, there is an exception to the rule. The phrase be used for expresses the typical or general purpose of a thing. In this case, the preposition is followed by a gerund. A saw is used for cutting wood. Also possible would be a saw is used to cut wood. However, to talk about a particular thing and a particular situation, be used plus an infinitive is used. A chainsaw was used to cut, not for cutting, down the old oak tree. Adjectives followed by infinitives. Certain adjectives can be immediately followed by infinitives, as in example A and B. Let's read example A. We were sorry to hear the bad news. B. I was surprised to see Tim at the meeting. In general, these adjectives describe a person or persons, not a thing. Many of these adjectives describe a person's feelings or attitudes. Let's look at some common adjectives followed by infinitives. Glad to do it. Happy to. Phase to. Content to. Relieved. Delighted to. Fortunate to. Lucky to. Please read the rest of this chart by pausing your screen. Gerunds. Passive infinitives. The passive infinitive is used in some constructions using the passive voice. It is particularly common after auxiliary verbs such as may, should, or could to indicate what is possible or what is correct. The passive infinitive is formed to be plus past participle. As with the present infinitive, there are situations where the zero form of the passive infinitive is required, so the word to is omitted. This happens after most modal auxiliaries and in other places where zero infinitives are used. 
For example, I am expecting to be given a pay raise next month. The carpet needs to be washed. These doors should be shut at night. Now, passive gerunds. Passive voice with gerunds. Gerunds are used after prepositions and verbs normally followed by a gerund. For example, I remember being taught to read. The students are excited about being taken to the library. The students are excited to be taken to the library. 